The rotated position on Dust 2 can be one with a lot of freedom. You can play in CT spawn up towards short, maybe help out towards long. But a lot of it requires rotation and intelligent positioning. If you don't know what you're doing, you can find yourself in a bit of a sticky situation a lot of the time. So I'm gonna look at today's Zipex, how he likes to move himself around the map in this position. So hopefully when you play this role, you can really take your game to the next level. In a team sport, finding good teammates is crucial. Join a community of 700,000 users on Dream Team to search for players who play for fun, play competitively, or want to go pro. Register on dreamteam.gg today and stop playing with teammates who kill everything except the enemy. Find players, improve skills, and manage teams. Dreamteam.gg, the ultimate team building and skill growing platform. Hey guys, what is going on? As I said in the introduction, we're going to be looking at Zipex today and how he likes to play this rotator role on Dust 2. Obviously, Astral is one of the teams with the strongest CT rotation, so I think he's a great candidate to look at this position for. Now the first thing you're going to notice about all these clips I'm going to show you is it's always your job as the rotator to help out towards long generally, such as in this scenario, flashing quite well for Device to find the pick, even though he's also blind, but it just gives him that security and it allows Glaive to move in here and grab control of this part of the map. Now obviously, as I said in the intro, this position, you have a lot of freedom what you want to do, such as you can do something in this scenario right here, which is the great little bait and switch device has the angle, they're going to swing out and they're going to find Zipex if they want to trade quickly onto the device. Now what allows them to do this? Well, obviously, you're going to see this play a lot of the time in CT spawn, locking down that mid to B or trying to test that kind of area. Well, Dupree is really, he's dealing with mid right now. He's a little bit hectic about it, but he's got this lockdown. So Zipex can be quite happy playing more heavy towards the A side of the map. We're going to see as Dupree gets forced off later into this round, it's going to be Zipex's job to come back and pick up this mid area. So as North start to walk into this one, it's going to be a relatively easy kill for him, actually shooting before even Device does. But notice also Dupree has been forced off middle, so they have very little control there in this scenario. So they have to give it up for just for a second. Device, I mean Zipex, sorry, he really wants this AK, so he's going to get it. But he's going to drop straight into CT spawn, not trying to run some kind of other setup. You see Device has still got this. Before he's going to pressure this part of the map, you've also got Magis jiggling for door. But they want a bit of pressure towards here, so it's not an easy run up for the T sides. That's where Zipex is going to park himself for now. Notice he's also uh, relatively close towards rotating towards A because there has been pressure applied to that part of the map, but he's definitely got this CT spawn covered along with magic. So that's his teammate's position towards mid. It's often Dupree is really going to affect his positioning. You can see he's going to walk out. He's going to find himself one nice kill. So that's a, it's a little bit about general positioning and where he likes to rotate. Depends a lot towards that mid AWPA, uh, as I said, normally in Dupree, but we're going to see a lot more of that. And this is just one example right now. So that short control, that's a really nice one. If you have one mate who's an AWPA, try and throw that one in every now and then. It's important to also note, however, that Zipex and Dupree's movement together is also definitely based on reads. It's not just Dupree gets forced off middle, he will sometimes give it up to play if there's a bit more B pressure, in which case Zipex will come back towards mid. So you see, he had the best spawn in this long takes, so he's going to molly followed by a nade. So if you have the best spawn, that's also an option when you are this supportive player. You don't always have to be someone just throwing a flash. So you can see if we look at the map right now, that there has been some pressure over here towards B, a smoke thrown out by the T side, a lot of players in under. So Dupree has decided, okay, I'm going to help out towards B here. So Zipex's job is to come back into CT spawn as we see right now. Good for rotations, but also, again, this pushing and pulling with Dupree. They're almost connected by a string. You'll see, again, this is a big thing about this, is you've got to communicate a lot with this second player. So if you're an MM player, it could be difficult, but hopefully you can uh, get someone who's going to cooperate at least a little bit, and he's going to be happy playing out towards window like Dupree is. And then Zipex is in here. He's fast to rotate to help out towards the B site and he's going to find himself one kill. So not a very eventful round, but you can see again, I just wanted to point out the fact that it's not just Dupree gets forced off middle, so Zipex comes towards middle. It's also he'll go up towards B if there's a bit of B pressure there, and then Zipex will fill the hole that Dupree leaves when they're making the reads into a round. So that's the big thing to realize. Uh, but besides that, not hugely eventful this one. So now that we've established when Zipex puts himself in CT spawn, when it's going to be more pressure towards B, good look at his reactions over here towards the A site when different bits of utility come in. Again, in this scenario, it's actually going to be Magis because Dupree's opening the back plat on B, which is actually opening close in this scenario. But we're going to see these two players again attached by a string. So in towards middle, there's a lot of mid pressure early on. But as this A pressure comes in from north, that's when Zipek's going to fall back. And he's going to be very supportive towards both the short and the long player in this scenario. Notice again, as Zipex moves out, Magis moves in to cover middle, quite comfortable. Now, this is quite intelligent by Zipex. If you have utility left, such as that smoke, he's going to smoke off short and then come here towards long. Because obviously, if you've got short smoked off, it gives a device a massive advantage massive advantage in this uh, position here. You can lock down long, and obviously if locked, if long is on lockdown, 
device has full freedom to do what he wants to do, and Zipex can come back and support. So initially there's short control coming out from north, so you're going to see Zipex get pulled off for a second with his flash to try and help out device, but as the long pressure comes out, he's straight back here to where the pressure is, and he knows the priority's on long right now, because if I lock down long, such as he does in this scenario, it gives device the ability to do what he needs to do, even Magis coming in on the flanks. So you see, he's very much that rotation player around this car area, helping out in which part of the map is needed. A lot of pressure towards short, tries to flash to allow device to do his thing, and then he comes back towards long once Glaive takes contact. In this scenario where both players are being uh, pressured, long is probably the priority because if that long player goes down, you're going to get crunched onto trying to defend short and it's going to be a very awkward fight for both, for both device and Zipex if you're sitting around that car area or something. Now when you are this rotator player, you're going to obviously be required to fill in spots when certain players go down. Such as in this scenario here, where Team Spirit took a lot of long control, took out Glaive, the long player for Astros. So set up into a, quite a nice short setup, but it's also one that is very good for covering long. We're going to see drop on quite a nice one-way smoke one you've probably all seen, but it's not too bad to get a refresher. So the setup right now, I'll just cover it from Astros because it's quite a neat one. It's obviously you've got uh, Magis, he's locking down B. You've got the Vice, he's making sure no one can come up on short because we know that Dupree's also very concentrated on long as that's where all of Team Spirit seem to be concentrating all of their firepower throughout this round. And then you've got Zipex when they do cross onto the side. So you're going to see as the pressure comes out towards this area of the map, we're going to see Zipex start to drop uh, his one-way smoke. And this smoke can be used a lot of ways to, to swindle or do exactly what he does. So he's going to just sit here, wait for the smoke to come around. You can see the two players have no idea what's hitting them. And he's going to find two easy kills. It's very hard for them to see the player in this scenario. You see, from their point of view, they have no idea what's going on. And Zipex can use this as a one-way, or he can also obviously jiggle around this. Uh, it creates a lot of space for him to really deny this player getting onto the site and, yeah, just playing where they want to. So you can play it however you want. A lot of players use it as a one-way, but I can see it also being useful just to delay time and really annoy the T side. They're not sure if you're sitting behind the smoke or what exactly is going on. So you've got a whole pile of options there, but it can be a very nice one-way, and one I definitely want to show you. Short control, however, is the most exciting position, in my opinion, to play if you are in this rotator position. You often take the first contact as opposed to being in that more supportive role we've seen so far from Zipex. So in this scenario, they're going to play a very heavy mid pressure, which is a big reason of why Zipex goes with this. Device was had a really good long spawn, so they trust him to take that. And you can see with this aggressive uh, nature or aggressive nature towards middle from the rest of Australia, so it gives Zipex a lot of freedom to do what he wants to do. So we look again, it's going to be Dupree in here towards middle. Glaive's actually really close. This setup's obviously designed for some kind of aggressive mid presence, but even even with the AWPA here in Dupree, again, it allows Zipex to have this freedom where he can get quite aggressive. And if you're playing MM games or pugs, there's often a guy who says, I want to AWP middle. So he's all right, you AWP middle, I'm going to get aggressive up short. And you can play like Zipex does here. And because they've got to worry about that AWPA in middle, they've got to use all the utility there. They've got to worry about multiple different angles and trying to cross mid. And you can see Zipex is going to use the fact they think that Flash has cleared out that more passive position just to clean up a couple of kills. So again, it all depends on where that AWPA is playing. Again, Dupree always seems to be on a string with him, but yeah, you can definitely get aggressive. And if you want to AWP, I suggest looking at a device video I made just recently. Look at how he likes to orb up on a short. And then, so he's actually, again, now he's more supportive. So he's two kills. He's pretty happy. He's like, all right, I got a bit of utility. I'm going to allow device to take this longer angle out here towards the short area. So again, pretty simple round by Zipex. Just smart positioning. And again, the rest of your team's positioning definitely has yeah, a big impact onto where he wants to play. And there really is a lot of options when going for this short aggression. One of them obviously being with your AWPA. We've seen this peak uh, that Device likes to throw. Any AWPA really. Guardian loves it. Whoever it is. Nico. Uh, it doesn't really matter. They're going to jump on top of their teammates heads and have a little look in towards lowers. A little bit slower. They're obviously maybe waiting for a counter flash in this scenario. What we're really worried about is what Zipex does. So as soon as Device takes some contact or shoots a shot, straight away a smoke out from Zipex. So he's being this more supportive role as we know he loves to do, but this is your job in this role. Unfortunately, if that's the role you like to play, you want to frag, you might have picked the wrong role. Solid nade coming in before obviously facing the smoke. Another thing you can do is when your AWPA does fall off, or even if it is your AWPA here, is this is some very, very basic teamwork we're about to say. And as in OG2 Esports, they're about to try and take some short control. They're flashed off. The Vice has got this flash in his hand, and it honestly is just a really good one. And we're going to see Zipex just clean up. So if you're that short player, you're going to have a lot of fun. And one thing to notice about Astralis is, not only is it Zipex here, the whole crew seems to turn up. Glaive is here, Device is also peaking. So they're all fighting together. This is a massive thing about Astralis. If you're G2, even if one of you is not blind, you're still peeking out to three players. So you're in massive struggle town right now. So one, they got the flash, and two, Astralis like, we're shutting this down. It doesn't matter if you have long control. So these are the options you have, and I've talked about this many times before. You need long or short controls of CT. Obviously, Astralis are going to win a short control, but Zipex is going to be the one reaping all the rewards. And again, if you're this rotator player, up and board short, a little bit more exciting for you. 
nice little 3k for him. So there's all these different options. There's more options. I'm not just going to cover them all today though. So I like you guys to do a little bit of the work yourself. And lastly, I want to cover your options when this mid to B smoke comes in. Because as this player, you often are trapped behind it and the team wants to split on towards the B site, the T side that is. You're going to want to do your best to help your teammates out over towards B. We're going to see there's a lot of different options. I showed this one in the intro, but if the smoke comes out, you can obviously get flashes through from your player, such as maybe Device would do. You just throw a flash from this position here. You could run through it, try and challenge with your teammates. And again, depending on what you want to do, You've got to have a lot of pressure coming in from your teammates and depending on how they want to try and defend the situation. So this time there's going to be two smokes in and notice what Zipex has done right now. Dupree has taken the contact. I'll probably edit it in because I'm so bad at observing. He's taken this contact. So what's Zipex going to do? He's straight away knowing, all right, they're focusing on towards my teammate. He's just going to swing out here and he's going to find the two kills you guys throw in the intros. That's a great way. Again, you can just get killed by a device in the end. For doing such a good job but besides that obviously flashing through the smoke you can try and play around at pressure you can see over angles such as i like this to try and jump around throw a flash just molly as well is a big one if you get smoked off and you can molly through those doors you're gonna do a great job of delaying that push through the b and then their smoke starting to fade and it really disrupts the timing of the t side that's it guys let me know what you think of this video hopefully you all enjoyed it and if you did make sure to subscribe and hit the like button i'll catch you all in the next video